One black kind of radicalizes you in a sense. Um, like you're kind of born radicalized. You know, somebody's got to open the door. But it also creates so much, so many opportunities for because those. I grew up hunting and fishing and right outdoors, but. <laughs> so my film was uh, ending racism. So yeah, you know, no, you know, you know, nice, easy, simple task. Uh, <laughs> so it was just kind of like that was like kind of the initial reaction, like, whew, that's a lot. But uh, I was very curious about like, okay, how do we do that? And what are people saying about how we can end it? And so let's find out. And so like when I when I was approached about the topic, like that was kind of the, the vision I had in mind right away is you know a road trip, like talk to people across Iowa. Talk to people who are trying to make a difference. Talk to them, hear their perspective, and hear you know gather all their answers and see if we can get a you know um, a concrete answer to the question of ending racism. I wanted you know like and I wanted to highlight people who were doing things in their communities to try to make a difference. You know, as I said in the uh, kind of the opening line, uh, opening monologue, you know, it's not up to black people to try to end racism, but you know, here we are still doing things, still being active, still working toward that end. And so, uh, you know, these are people who are doing these kind of things in their communities, like, you know, thankless work. And sometimes, you know, work that gets you, you know, negative comments or threats. I mean, especially, you know, with some of the activists and uh, some of the politicians. And so, like, you know, being able to, like, give them a highlight and let them have a space to be free. So that was that was pretty cool, too, that we just got the ladies, because, like, I think a lot of my subjects felt really comfortable talking with me. And so it was, like, a lot of open conversations and a lot of open dialogue. And it was just super neat to hear their stories and to let them, you know, talk about their work. I think the first thing I did was gather a list. I mean, I had a mental list, like, okay, because I didn't, I didn't want it just to be, you know, a Des Moines story or a Sioux City story or Northwest Iowa story or Central Iowa story. I wanted it to be an Iowa story. I really hope they learn. And, like, because I, I think a big thing, like, to help people understand racism is empathy. And we're sorely lacking in that area. Like, not just in terms of race, but like in terms of, you know, understanding people from different backgrounds, understanding people from different gender identities, people from different religions, like different nationalities, like on and on and on. And so like, I really hope people develop a sense of empathy. Like, I mean, that's, I know that's a tall task uh, to put on a 25 minute film, but you know, we can only hope.